I think there's a lot of concern uh, about tariffs. Uh, there's concern of Italy and contagion. And, and, and how long can this uh, very strong economic environment continue? You know, banks are, are uh, very dependent upon strong economic growth. But I just think there's always something to worry about, and banks seem to be the, the, the one that people worry about the most. When we see yields jump like they have done today, Dick, I think the 10-year hit a, a high not seen since 2011. Is that a catalyst to reignite the sector? Would you be bullish on them now? Well, I've been bullish on for a long time, and, and I've been wrong. Uh, yes, uh, banks are one of the few industries that benefit from increased interest rates, especially a, deepen, a steepening of the yield curve, which has occurred. But, you know, again, uh, just look at the, the facts here. Uh, banks are cheap relative to the rest of the market. Uh, they're off their highs by a long ways. Uh, their P ratio is 25 to 30 percent less than the market, and the market's very elevated. Uh, they have good dividends. I like the fact they have good dividends, uh, between uh, 2 and 3 percent. And so uh, I just think they're cheap, and, and eventually the market will, will wake up, uh, it, particularly if they continue to have reasonably good earnings. So, uh, you know, the next week or so we'll see uh, some bank earnings. We'll see what happens. And as interest rates go higher, that net interest margin expands. But, of course, that's also assuming that loan growth demand still stays robust. Any concerns about loan growth demand as rates move higher? I'm really not. These rates are still low by uh, any historical standard. And remember, a lot of uh, bonds, uh, rightfully so, uh, uh, corporations were buying bonds uh, when they were so ridiculously low. And they weren't really using uh, uh, loans or commercial loans as much. So I think uh, you're not going to see as many bond issuers anymore, and therefore they will need to fund themselves uh, with commercial loans, and I think that will be a, a benefit over time. Dick, you mentioned at the top the, 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 weight or, uh, the weighing down that places like Italy has done on bank stocks. Is that legitimate? I mean, clearly Unicredit and, and Italian banks have traded off. Is it fair that U.S. banks have uh, sold off on, on negative days for Italy assets? Well, no, I, I don't think it's about the banks in Italy. It's just that, that could Italy cause a, a deep recession in Europe? Could it unravel uh, other uh, uh, currencies in Europe and, and around the world? Uh, because it's, it's a big country that, uh, I mean, it's not Greece. Uh, you know, it's, a, it's four or five times bigger, and we could have another Greece on our hand that could start some sort of a, of a worldwide uh, uh, reduction in economic growth. I, it sounds like, of course, you're interested in looking into this sector, but how bullish really are you? Of course, financials have lagged the market just about flat for the year compared to uh, tech, which is up, say, 18 percent or so. Any chance that we could see banks sort of become the new tech names as we go into the end of the year? Well, I, I, you know, I don't know. I, I believe, as I said, they are uh, priced uh, to go up a, a lot. I personally have been selling uh, everything except my finance, not everything, but a lot of my tech and other stocks here in the past two months and buying banks because I think they are cheap relative to others and you get paid to wait because you have a good dividend. Which banks in particular? It looks like some of the regionals, the smaller cap banks are really moving higher in today's action. Yeah, well, I, I, I like the regionals. I, I, you know, I, I, I have a lot of banks that I own, and I also uh, own bank indexes, uh, particularly regional bank indexes. So it, it's, a, it's a very diversified portfolio of financial institutions, let's put it that way.